Are American basketball players playing for European national teams a good thing? In this video, we're going to look at why we have so many Americans playing for European national teams and what impact that has on the international competition. In the last two Euro baskets, we had two American players that won the gold medal. Lorenzo Brown for Spain in 2022 and Anthony Randall for Slovenia in 2017. They were both key players for their respective national teams with Lorenzo even being in the tournament starting five. So let's first look at how this is allowed. Well, FIBA has this rule where a team can have one naturalized player. They have very strict rules for 11 players, but the 12th player can be someone that just has a loose affiliation with the country. So that's how you see these countries that look for American players to fill the part of their roster that is needed. I do not support this regardless of the size of the country, but it is interesting to note that from the 12 players at this year's Eurobasket, seven of them played for countries with 10 million or less people. But why do countries such as Turkey, Poland, Germany, Spain, and Italy need American players. Those countries have populations of together over 311 million people. Countries that have more people already have a higher advantage over less populated countries because they have a bigger player pool. And in a sport that has five starting players and only a few players in rotation when it comes to big games, one player can have a huge difference on a team's overall performance. So the 12 naturalized player can quickly become the first offensive threat on a team and not a bench warmer. Lorenzo Brown. There are certain countries where all this being said, they would never do this because they feel like their own national team players should earn the medal for the country and not a foreign player. But in a competition where most countries have American players, I'm asking the question, why wouldn't every country have one American player? Right now, smaller population countries such as Serbia and Lithuania are put in a huge disadvantage when they already have smaller population. But then it gets even worse when every country gets stronger by using American players. Kevin Punter is an example of a player that would be great for the Serbian national team and he has played in Serbia already for three years. He has the Serbian national passport already. He's far more qualified than Randolph or Brown that have never played in Slovenia or Spain. But the Serbian association will not do this. Why? Because they want the Serbian players to win it, not an American. Also, the American players would take minutes away from someone that has been waiting their whole life to represent their country and sing the national anthem. So what's next? Well, I presume that bigger countries like Spain, Italy, Germany, UK, France will be able to get better and better talent to play on their national teams because they have the most to offer from a financial and a passport quality sense. This is why one day we might see some top level NBA talent play for European national teams. I would not be surprised to see the 15th to 30th best NBA American players play for European national teams.